All right, so let's take a closer look at the green dent corn. Now this is called green dent. Normally with this type of corn, it's not really eaten like corn on a cob. This is dent where you usually use it for either cattle feed or chicken feed, or you would grind it up and you would make uh, like a flour out of it and you would make tortillas or things. You can use it for that kind of stuff. It's not really meant to be boiled and eaten. It's a very hard kind of a corn. It's kind of like Indian corn, except I don't really know if you can actually eat Indian corn. I think you can. You can pop, I think you can pop Indian corn. I think you could pop this as well. But generally, from what I know about this green dent, oxy, I think it's called Oxican green dent. But this particular type of corn is grown in Mexico and it's generally grown as a flour. They make their flour and stuff out of it. So that's generally what this corn is used for. Now, I'm not going to be doing any more corn reviews while I'm still at this address because I really can't grow corn out here. The animals are so, uh, the, the, the mice, the, the rats, the chipmunks, whatever they are, they are so bad as far as the corn goes, it's absolutely impossible to grow corn here effectively. I had probably eight or nine cobs that came out from the little bit that I did grow and they were all stripped clean. This is one cob that they actually missed, but all the other ones, my black Aztec, my strawberry popcorn, those were all eaten down to the bone, nothing left. I was actually shocked because I went, I didn't know that they were eating it, because usually I let my corn cobs dry on a, on a thing like this fully. If I'm not gonna eat them and cook them, and I wanna save them for seed, I usually let them dry like this fully on the plant, and then after a while, I go and once the plant starts yellowing down that's when I go and harvest that's what a lot of people around here do the guy in back of me is growing um, corn in the back he's got you know maybe 30 or 40 acres of corn grown and um, it's it's kind of funny that the animals are attacking my little bit of corn that I have on my property and there's acres and acres of corn in the back and they won't eat his corn and that's probably because that corn that he's growing is genetically modified the animals don't even want to eat that corn. So when I grow this corn, which is an organic corn, the animals come and eat this stuff. They don't even want to eat his corn in the back. Even though it's grown as cattle feed, but they don't want to eat it. The animals know that there's something wrong with the corn. So they come and eat my corn. And unfortunately, my corn was wiped out this year. Every single cob was eaten. I think I got a couple small little pieces that they didn't get to which this was the Aztec black which you could see that it kind of crossed with the green dent a couple cobs a couple of grains in there are green dent you can grow this next year it's just not going to be a pure uh, strain of corn and it'll just come out like you know like this and it's not true Aztec black true Aztec black corn is literally black corn it's a black cob of corn and, and it's really cool looking so you can't you when you grow corn if you're going to grow one if you're going to grow corn you want to grow one variety of corn you're going to grow green dent you just grow green dent you're going to grow black aztec you just grow black aztec because if you grow more than one variety of corn they will cross pollinate and now if you separate the the, the corn growing you know by 100 feet or 200 feet it's not likely that they're going to cross if they could though you might get one or two kernels you make make sure you pick those out if you're saving seed but like where I live, they grow corn in the front of my house, they grow corn in the back of my house, they grow corn all the way around my house. So usually my corn usually gets completely cross-contaminated with the other corns, and I get these freak corns come out. So I'm not sure if that's what this is going to be, but usually I get freak corn. So I got to hope that my tassels don't come out when the, when the main crops of corn are tasseling out here you got to kind of hope that the, it offsets. So I'm kind of thinking that they, this one did because I did plant it twice. The first time it got destroyed, then I planted it again, and the, now the, it grew. I got cobs, but the mice ate it. So let's take a look at what the green dent looks like. And it's not a full ear of corn, but it's good enough for me to at least show you what it looks like. Now, this is a great corn to grow for 
the holidays like Halloween, if you're looking to grow like a nice corn for, for Halloween to hang, uh, this would be a nice one to grow. It's very easy to grow. Believe me when I tell you, if, I'm, if I could grow the corn in my situation, and believe me, I don't grow corn up here because it doesn't really grow right. Corn has to have extremely nutrient-dense soil, and if you're not going to put anhydrous and ammonia into your soil, your corn is just simply not going to grow. And I'm not willing to dump that much fertilizer into growing corn because it's just not one of my main staple foods. So I like corn, I just don't. I'm not going to sink a lot of time and money, though I do randomly grow it, just get lucky every now and again, and I'll end up with something like this. And then I'll save these cobs, but normally I don't really grow corn that much. Because this really isn't a good environment to grow corn. You really need a very open field. The sunlight needs to hit it from as early as possible till as late as possible in order for you to develop full, good, healthy uh, corn cobs. It, anything less than that, you, you choke it off. Like I got these big trees in the back. Corn won't grow that, really that good in that condition. It really needs a lot of light to get really good healthy cobs and really healthy soil. A lot of nitrogen. Corn, the, the other thing about corn, the, another reason why I don't grow corn too much is corn will really sap your soil from nutrients. It just kills that soil. One year you grow corn in that soil, nothing else really wants to grow in it except weeds. So just keep that in mind when you're growing corn. You know, you're going to want to dedicate your own soil for it, your own area that you grow corn, and just feed it tons of nitrogen. You know, unfortunately, that's what you have to do with this to get it to grow right. So anyway, this is what it looks like. This is the green oxycondent, and um, it's a nice corn. Now, like I say, it's a really... I can't eat it, unfortunately, because it's all hard corn. It's so totally dried and hardened up on a vine. I mean, I'm still going to pull the seeds off of this, and then these seeds are going to sit for about another month off the cob so they have that extra time to cure, and then I'll bag it. You never want to uh, bag these, even corn, in a sealed plastic bag even a month into it because they still breathe. They really got a corn's really got a cure. That's why when you buy corn, it's usually in burlap bags or paper bags with holes in it. It's got to breathe, guys. It can't. You put this in a plastic bag, it's going to mold up on you. So let me break some of these corns off, and we'll take a closer look at the corn. Yeah, this is still fresh, believe it or not. It doesn't even want to. They don't even want to come off of this one. Very nice green corn. I bet you this makes a wonderful flower. Wonderful tortillas. Yeah, these got to sit out for a while. There's still a little moist on the inside. These should have popped right off of there. But this is what the kernels look like. All right, that's what the kernels. Right, nice and nice and green all the way through. That's what you want to see. You don't want to see black and yellow in there. That means it crossed, you know. You want to see that true genetics all the way through. So I actually got lucky this year, and I got one green cob. Though I have grown this last year, and it grew really nicely. I just didn't. I threw all the corn cobs in a bucket and left it in my greenhouse and forgot about it. And I think because sometimes I do that, and then in the spring I could just break the cobs out. And, squeeze off all those extra kernels in the ground and and they grow like crazy it for me to just like having to break the kernels off and dry them out and save them it's not really worth it if you're going to plant a whole bunch next year but problem is is i got mice and chipmunks and rats and everything else running around in my greenhouse so they went into that pail and they ate all the corn out of it and the thing is they eat all the way around the the uh the, the uh, husk on here they eat all the way around that husk and you don't know that they, your corn's gone and you get, the next year comes, you're getting ready to pull them out and strip all those corns off of there. And you open up the skin, there's nothing in there. It's completely hollow. They get in there and they eat it all the way out. So, yeah, never. Well, corn is one thing that mice and chipmunks and those kind of animals, they will come out of woodwork for that. You got to make sure when you save these, you're saving them in a spot where no animals are going to have access to it. Where they're going to get to it and eat it. And if you keep it in your house, it's going to draw mice into your house. They can smell this corn a mile away. They will, they will eat holes in the wood to get into your house. So make sure that you keep it in a sealed container where they can't smell it. And they can't get to it. And uh, you should be fine. 
but it's a really nice corn. These cobs can get as long as like 12 inches, maybe 14 inches long. I mean, they can get literally huge and they can get really fat too. These can get very, very large. This is a small one. This is like really the only thing that I got that I can actually show and tell. But in general, they'll get big, they'll be nice and dark green, and they get hard right away. If you really want these to get hard, hard, like where they just fall off the cob in one shot, you just take these cobs and leave them in the sun for about two days, three days, put them all out in the sun on your table, on your picnic table, and let the sun just cook it down for two or three days. These corn kernels will pop right off. You won't have a hard time. They'll come right out of it. But again, that's it. That's your um, green dent. I believe it's Oxygen Green Dent. I'll put the right name in the description. And if I can find seeds on Amazon, I will definitely include a link to that Amazon uh, listing. And you can check them out on Amazon. And uh, that's it. That's your Green Dent review. And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And then I'll see you on the next one. Take care.